you have asked me how I take my own Instagram pictures and how I edit them. Just like a lot of you, I do have come a long way. I used to take a lot of time in getting that one perfect shot that makes me happy. But after watching this video, you won't have that issue. Today, I want you to join me at a photo shoot that I am doing at my home with my iPhone. Enjoy this video and make a note of all the points that I mentioned today because I take my shots really quick and I edit them even faster on Luminar. Luminar is a great app that within minutes takes my phone selfies from this to this. I will have all the information related to Luminar in my description. So you can try it absolutely free for seven days. And if you want to buy it, Luminar is offering $25 off for all my viewers. I'll be taking you through my quick editing process at the end of this video on Luminar so you can see how effective this app is. For now, let's begin with a few important steps. And as I continue through this video, I will be giving you more tips on how you can have a successful and quick photo shoot at home yourself. So first and foremost, understand the purpose of the shot. So in the first two shots, I want to shoot jewelry shots for my Satat brand. So the focus needs to be more on my jewelry, especially my ring. For those of you who did not know, yes, I do have a jewelry brand. I have collaborated and I've been supporting this brand that is woman owned, sustainable, wooden, handmade, lightweight, minimalistic and statement. Everything that I personally enjoy while supporting a female owned brand. You should look it up. It's on satat-us.com. Point number two is to plan your shot. If you don't, then make sure you have good natural light. Next is to set up your tripod height, your phone angle and your remote. I am using this little guy. This remote is from Moment. So this tiny remote that hides in my hands when I'm posing is literally the reason why I take quick pictures. This remote truly saves me a lot of time and space on my phone. Because when you set your phone on a self timer, you need to run back and forth between each shot. And you need to do this within three or 10 seconds. So you feel a little rushed. You're not sure if your frame is right and you need to take multiple pictures till you see that picture that makes you happy. I see a lot of people trying to take those perfect action shots. I know it can seem difficult, but I do want to make a video to show you how I take those perfect action shots that are literally taken in one single shot, all with the help of this remote. Don't get me wrong. There are times when I do need to use self timer. Say if I need to use both my hands, I cannot have the remote visible. Once the remote is connected to the camera, I get into the frame. I don't rush to figure out if I'm looking good, if the angle is working, if my hands are in frame. I check everything is all set and ready to go. Then I click this on self timer, put the remote aside, get ready for that shot and get that perfect shot in one single go. In my self photography, I use the moment remote and moment phone lenses, which are extremely helpful. I will be using one of those lenses in today's shots as well. And I'll be sure to link everything in the description below. Okay. So when it is time to shoot, I mark my spot on the front facing camera and then shoot in the rear facing camera, making sure that I'm covering all the spots that I need to. And the picture is framed just like I saw it on the front facing camera. So in this first picture, notice these leading lines on this glass wall. Now these are a way to bring more attention to the main subject. I'm shooting this picture against this thick diffused glass wall, which means the sunlight is not very harsh directly on my face. So this wall literally works as a soft box. Notice that in these pictures, I will also be showing you how to create more dimension in your pictures, which means just by extending your arms or legs or any one part of your body closer to the camera, you can make it a more interesting picture by bringing more focus on one object. On iPhones, you can lock the focus on one area. So in some pictures, I locked it on my face 
and then in some on the ring. Sometimes having a little bit of music also helps if you don't want very static pictures, if you want to add more movement to your shots, more natural, candid feel. So by moving freely in these shots, I'm not posing for a picture, but I know exactly what I want framed in the picture and I'm able to create a more lifestyle shot out of it. So this gave me a completely different feel to the same shot. Once all of this planning is in place, tell me how could I go wrong. In literally 5 to 10 shots, I get the picture that I was looking for. I avoid taking pictures on the front facing camera because it is the rare camera lens that gives you sharper and better quality pictures. Remember I had talked about understanding the purpose of the picture. So this is where it comes into play. If you know your purpose, you will know what mood to match it with, what expression to have in that picture. And then when you're finally taking the pictures, only make subtle changes in your expressions or body posture. This will give you that final image that you had in your mind. Because sometimes you get very excited about taking pictures and you take great pictures, but ultimately either your body or your face just doesn't look good in that particular angle and you're unhappy. Avoid making any kind of drastic changes in your poses. It is important because once you know your angles, stick to those angles that work for you. Instead of getting excited about a location and going from here to here to here to here and then later realizing that you were just not happy about the way your body was angled or your face. So once you know what angles work for you, stick to those angles and just make subtle changes in your expressions or posture. So plan beforehand, what do you want to look like in those pictures? Do you want to look moody, serene, fun, sexy, elegant and then go for it. In the second shot, I'm leaning down towards the floor. It is a much more exciting and a creative way to shoot instead of just standing straight against a plain background. So again, I first mark my spot. Extending my hand towards the camera adds more dimension. The sky in the background is a great backdrop in case you don't have an interesting background. Later when I edit this picture in Luminar, I can change the background completely. I, I can change the sky, I can add clouds, I can add sunlight and enhance the background with just one click. Now this is an amazing trick but a very simple one. So listen carefully. When you keep your phone absolutely flat, you need to bend a lot more and that discomfort can show on your face. When you have to try to be almost parallel to the ground. I've noticed in some other people's selfies when you bend at that angle, the veins on your neck or your forehead can pop and it doesn't look as attractive as you had imagined it to look but a slight tilt in the angle helps you keep your body and face relaxed. Holding some of those flowers in my hand added an interesting element to frame my face as well as to bring some attention to my finger ring. I took some pictures against these purple flowers in a pot and I didn't need a tripod. I was holding the phone in my hand and taking a regular selfie, but I love the way these purple flowers framed the picture. It again took me less than 60 seconds to take the pictures that I desired. Let's move on to my third shot where I am creating some content for some of the editorial style power posing pictures. For shots like these or even some of the makeup shots, I like to use either a ring light or a soft box. In this case, soft box throws more even light to cover a full length picture. So in this shot, I'm not just taking pictures, but also filming small video clips for Instagram, Facebook fan page, and TikTok. 
You heard me say this before that I normally do not recommend making drastic shift in poses. But because I know my exact poses, I know what are my power poses and I know what face angles will work. I literally took 5 or 10 images maximum in each pose to find that one perfect shot. It used to take me a whole day to complete one shoot, but you saw that I completed filming a whole YouTube video, three Instagram content pictures and one video plus editing. all of that in one day so now that we're done with the pictures let's move on to the next fun part which is editing to edit pictures on luminar i can quickly open the photos that are on my phone select the ones that i want to edit and the pictures open in luminar When I click on AI enhance it automatically figures out parts that need to be brightened because it uses artificial intelligence so if there are any overexposed parts that need balancing the colors or lights or shadows or even skin that needs a little bit of corrections AI enhance will do it I then replace the sky because my sky was absolutely flat I now head to the portrait section and click on AI enhance again using artificial intelligence it enhances my skin when i bent my face was a little darker so i can just add a little bit of light to my face sliding the ai structure will boost clarity of this picture so the artificial intelligence understands where my face is and it sharpens everything else in the picture except my face In less than a minute you can see what my before and after look like. I also edited this image and this image. If you have any questions about this, if you want to learn how to make your own journey on social media more successful, then write to me. I am Parmita, Chicago based image coach and photographer and your social media presence is a huge part of your image that i cover in our one on one sessions as an image coach i consult via zoom or facetime anywhere in the world i also have a fabulous team and together we are giving away one business and website makeover absolutely free 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 those are my low budget special effects No but seriously who will you be when this time passes after this quarantine you can look back and see someone who binge watch netflix or you can extract the super power of your potential extract your brilliance and learn how to create and run a successful profitable business with it i know that due to this current covid crisis lot of people are struggling with their business and i want to help so i decided to have a contest all you need to do is go on my website blushwithme.com/contact and fill out the information under business makeover one lucky person will then win a business makeover and a deluxe website to help grow their business the winner will be announced in the next 4 weeks i have done my part it is your turn to either nominate yourself or a friend who will find this helpful hashtag women supporting women hope you enjoyed joining me for this photo shoot and content creation day hopefully you will plan some fun pictures yourself and make it happen quickly if you post your pictures anywhere then please tag me so i can see your pictures too your question of the day is what video do you want me to make next six creative ways to take pictures against one background or how to take those headshots by yourself at home don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the different topics i cover to enhance your image be it in person or in pictures i can't wait to see you next week with an exciting topic again until then make sure when you are posing for those pictures you will blush with me